Chapter 3, Mishnah 4. The previous Mishnah concluded with a ruling about a Kometz that became Tame before it was burned. This Mishnah considers the law in a case where the Kometz was Tahor, but the remainder of the Mincha became Tame, or was lost or destroyed before the Kometz was burned. A similar issue comes up in connection with animal korbanos. When an animal korban is slaughtered, its blood is received in a bowl and thrown, zirika, on the Mizbeach. This permits the meat of the korban to be eaten. However, there is a question what to do if the meat became tame or was lost or destroyed, before the blood was thrown on the Mizbeach. According to Rabbi Yeshua, since the blood can no longer permit the meat, the blood should not be thrown on the Mizbeach. As a result, the korban will become invalid and the owner will have to bring another one. Rabbi Eliezer, however, says that the blood should be thrown. As a result, the korban will be valid and the owner will not have to bring another one. The Mishnah applies that dispute to the law of Menachos. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If the remainder of the mincha became tame or was burned, i.e. destroyed or lost before the kometz was burned on the Mizbeach, according to the rule of Rabbi Eliezer in regard to animal korbanos, that the blood of an animal korban may be thrown even if there is no meat for it to permit. The same is true in the case of a mincha. If the remainder is tame, the kometz is still valid and may be burnt on the Mizbeach even though there is no remainder to eat. While according to the rule of Rabbi Yoshua for animal korbanos, that the blood of an animal korban may not be thrown unless there is meat that can be eaten, in our case too the kometz is invalid and it should not be burnt on the Mizbeach because there is no remainder for it to permit. After the kometz is removed from a mincha, it is placed in a clear sheris to be sanctified before being brought to the Mizbeach to be burnt. The Mishnah addresses a situation where the Kometz was not placed in a Klisheris. If the Kometz of the Mincha was not placed in a Klisheris after it was removed from the Mincha and was brought to the Mizbeach by hand and burnt, the Mincha is invalid because one of its, of its four crucial avodos was not done. But Rabbi Shimon rules that it is valid. The Mishnah now considers whether the entire Kometz must be burnt at once. If he burnt its Kometz on the Mizbeach twice, i.e. he divided the Kometz in two, and then put one half of the kometz on the fire, and then the other half, the mincha is valid. But if he divided it into three or more parts and put each part on the fire separately, the mincha is not valid, because each part will have in it less than a kazais.